feel like we're in our natural element, you know? It's dark, we're playing with nails. What's up? My name is Minecrank and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Um, we're playing again. I just recorded a lot of the last video right now and so we're gonna just pick up right where we left off. Uh, we're working on... Oh, we have some stuff to leave in here actually. Let's leave this food. We should probably start cooking, hey? Because now that we have the ability to make uh, firewood, hopefully we can make sandwiches. I would need to plant cabbage. Oh, I'd need to do a lot. Um, you know what? Let's see. Can I actually make anything though? Let's do that. And if we made, if we got some more mushrooms, we can make some baked meat. We'll do that. We'll leave that there. Um, yeah, we'll put, I like to put all my materials and stuff right out here. Put that all away so it's out of my inventory. These bat wings can go in there too. I don't need them right now. Uh, so yeah, can I make some nails? Because if you guys remember right, we were working on building the stone cutter so we can make stone repair kits. I mean, we need nails for that. Uh, that is right... Where? Where's the stone cutter, guys? Here it is, here it is. I'm blind, I'm blind. Um, oh, we can fit it right there. Is that smart? Would that get in the way? I feel like that might get in the way. But that's like such a good, it's, it fits there, so I'm going to put it there. I'm putting it there. If I regret it later, I'll move it, I guess. Oh, okay, maybe we can finally make stone repair kits. No. We, can, <laughs> we cannot. We cannot make stone repair kits, because we need clay. And you know what's funny, guys? Is I don't think that you get the ability to collect clay until after you have raised the quality of your graveyard to five, which is what we're trying to do right now, and that's why we were gonna make stone repair kits in the first place. Ah! Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. That's where you get clay, and uh, yeah, I just don't have that ability yet, because you need to get it from the, what's his name? The, the bishop? The bishop guy? Oh, that's right, there's a body there. <laughs> we should bury that, we'll bury that. Okay, so if we can't make stone repair kits, then I guess the next best thing to do would be to, well, we'll repair this grave, and then we'll make some headstones to put on these other graves that don't have one, and we'll just hope that that's, that, that can raise us above uh, five in a timely manner, I hope. Oof, yeah, okay, we're just gonna need some gravestones. And some wooden repair kits, I think. We need at least... Yeah, we'll probably need at least four more wooden repair kits. And then we can make some gravestones with all the stone we have, too. So that's the plan right now. We are going to get this cemetery upgraded this episode. I don't care how long it... Okay, well, I do care how long it takes. But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. So let's work. Let's see, what do we need for the wooden repair kits? We need flitches, Okay. Planks and nails. We got this. We got this. Flitch. That's not here. That's at this thing. Okay. Good thing we got more wood while we were waiting. Okay. Okay. So we can make one. And then we're going to need another plank and more nails if we want to make another set of wooden repair kits. Let's go see. Before we waste all our energy on doing that, let's go see how much we can get done with this one set of four. <sighs> Being a graveyard keeper is tiring, you guys. Like, literally, look at our energy bar. It's like, it's barely, oh, it's it's just past midday. I guess, never mind. Never mind. I was, I thought it was the morning. Uh, repair that. Repair this. We're going up, going up, right? Yes, negative seven instead of negative eight. We're doing so well that the grave fence is there anything else wooden that needs repairing this headstone maybe we need, we need another one uh, why 
Is there anything else? I just want to check. Like if I if I fix that, how much will it give me? It will give me two if I fix that. So that'll bring it down to negative one, I think. Okay, we can try. We'll do that and then after that we'll build uh, flower beds, I think. Yeah, I need peat for that. So I need to get the gardening stuff, which luckily, luckily you get the gardening permission, I think from the merchant who shows up on this day. I have no idea what symbol that is. Like, no idea. It looks kind of like um, a cow, a bull skull to me. Um, what are we doing? Headstones, right? Headstones? Stone cutters. We can make headstones, can't we? No, we can't. Oh my gosh. Tech. We can. Now we can. Guys, now we can. Here we go. We'll do this. And then we'll just we'll just use the rest of our energy doing that. And we'll go to sleep. We're gonna talk we're gonna finish those headstones tomorrow. Grab our meat. Our mystery meat. And we're gonna talk to the merchant and finish headstones tomorrow. Come on! Get rested. Off we go. No time to waste. No time to waste. Let's get this done bright and early. Work, 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 work. Wow, I forgot how much energy these took. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, and we're also going to need to repair this to garden, I think. Okay, yeah, we're going to go talk to Haradric and the, the merchant. See if we can get gardening permission today, because that would be good. And if we can, then I'll buy some cabbage seeds so we can make sandwiches. Sandwiches. Ask about the garden. I found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me about it? Oh yeah, the garden. It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will make use of it. I will do that. I will do that for you. Hmm, I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near the graveyard? I mean, not cannibals, that's for sure. Sounds great. Good, but you need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. Okay. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with him later. I'm not sure if that's how that works, but I'll trust you. He comes to trade with locals every skull. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. Okay. Can I trade with you? Take my burial things. I want money. Oh, he also buys firewood? Good to know for the future. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything I need right now. Oh wait, no, take them. Yeah, take them, take them. Okay, I'm outie. I'm outie, off to see the merchant. Off to s there he is. Oh, what good timing, good timing. I didn't plan this, guys, at all. Gree hick. Greeting, villager Hick. If you have any spare silver, I can offer you amazing things, tasty and rare. I humbly apologize, but I'm not bang buying any of your sh hick stuff unless it's something invaluable and I doubt you can find some hick something like that here actually I'm new here everybody thinks I'm the keeper at the local graveyard I got this cornered but I'm from another world and I need to go back why do you tell us to everyone <laughs> I understand you all too well this world is not mine hick either oh thank god mine is a world of grandeur hick and the palaces of the town but I'm not so lucky to be highborn, so I have to earn my coins here in this onion potato hell. <laughs> Scare him. Yeah, let's do it. Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you with your hiccups. That was a fool thing to do. I just need a little time. That shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit that the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. It seems like you're okay now after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. Talk to him about the garden. Haradric gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms of use with you. Oh, I had totally forgot about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago. And due to inflation and the good soil, why? Now it's quite a valuable commodity. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's right next to a graveyard, dude. Yeah, no, I'm not paying you that. That's way too much. 
What about- Nope, not doing it. I'm short on money. Maybe we can discuss some kind of barter. I see. You're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rent, but first, let's see how good a farmer you are. Let's make a deal. You deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and beets. And then I'll see you as a serious business partner, and we'll make a long-term deal that's profitable for both parties. What do you say? Mm, fine. As soon as I have my first harvest, I'll bring it to you. I mean, this seems like a rip-off to me. If you have the time, I'd like to ask you for a small favor. How can I help? I like delicious food, but lately I've been having stomach problems. After a good dinner, I get the hiccups. It's driving me mad. A friend of mine from the wine club told me that hiccup grass can help. I believe there's plenty of it in the swamp. It could be I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some. No big deal. I can do that. He's got grape seeds. I don't know how to grow grapes yet, so I'm not even going to buy them. Silver. Okay, anyways. I think I'm done with this guy. I'm going to go do some gardening. I kind of want these berries first, though. I need berries, guys. Really? It's not letting it... It's like I have to be in front of the bush. Oh, but that one. The side is fine, I guess. All right. Let's go get some seeds before the seed shop closes. And then... Have I even been to the seed, sh seed shop yet? I don't remember. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying, even if it's drugs or magic elixirs. I'm just looking around. I don't know what's happening, but everyone is telling me I'm the graveyard keeper. Oh, then you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. I mean, that's a bit presumptuous. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. Can't you tell me about farming? Is there anything special I need to know to be a good farmer? I'm just going to compete with you because you're such a dick. You need to know how to fertilize the soil and be ready to work hard. Honestly, you don't look like much of a farmer. You're better off buying from a professional like me. Yes, he feels threatened. Little does he know. Even somebody like you could cook something nice with my vegetables. I doubt it. I doubt it, sir. Just give me the damn seeds. Here we go. Let's get four carrots. We'll get four of each to start with. Because I'm not made of money. Four carrots for... Wait, I don't want to buy cabbages. No, take them away. I don't want them. Um, carrots, four cabbage seeds. And four wheat seeds. And four beet seeds. Okay, yeah. That's what I want. That's so much money. Yeah, that's what we're getting. Okay. Off we go back home. Okay, here we are back at the garden. I'm gonna claim the property. It's mine now. Build some empty. Uh, I'm gonna build them over here so that it's easy to come get them in the morning. And I think it takes four seeds per plot, if I remember. It's okay, we're all good. We're all good here. What do we got in our inventory still? Oh yeah, the gravestones. We did bury that guy, right? Like, I'm not imagining that. We did actually do that. Should I go check? Let's put this away first. Then we'll go check. Um, yeah. Then we'll go check. I think we actually also needed another wood repair kit, right? So let's make a plank and some nails. Or go to sleep first. Because I wasn't looking at our energy. So let's do that. Here we go. A new day, a new night, here in the graveyard. It's so peaceful at night. I feel like we're in our natural element, you know? It's dark, we're playing with nails. We're about to go walk in a graveyard. <laughs> so I'm wondering, like, they mentioned a cult earlier. Can I join this cult? Can I join this cult? and like just really piss off the inquisitor because i think that's my primary goal right now am i supposed to dig this guy up though was that like not part of the quest that i got from that one ghost i can't remember i can't remember if i did that or not 
I guess we'll just like leave him there. He seems like a good guy, you know? Like, look at this. He's got all these white marks. I think he's a good guy. If I want to get rid of anyone, it would be someone with more red skulls. So we're at negative one for the graveyard quality. Um, did I repair all the wooden stuff? Like, this one looks in disrepair, but it says it's fully repaired, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna leave the wood repair kit here, though, because I don't know- I don't think you use them for anything else than stuff in the graveyard, so I'll just- I'll just leave it there. Oh, now we gotta figure out what to do with the rest of the day. We could probably make more headstones. We need one more headstone, I think, for all the bodies we have so far. One more. That will take up a lot of energy. Let's do that, though. Uh, we gotta cut some stone first. Here we go. We'll do that. We need lots- only two? I only get two stone from that? No, six. Oh my gosh. Oh, I misread it. <laughs> I was like, how? How can you only get two pieces of stone from this big slab? What a waste. Um, I don't really want to, like, use all my food right now, so I think I'll just sleep instead. You know, I'll put my food away, because I want to use, like, these I can eat for energy, but it's not a lot, and they'll give me more energy if I cook them together with something. So that's what I want to do. I think to make, I haven't made any dough yet. I need water for that. Whew. Okay. Yeah, let's go, let's go to sleep and then we'll get our energy back to do some more stuff. The day has passed so quickly in Graveyard Valley. I actually like the sleep system better in this game than Stardew because, um, like you, it's not, uh, your progress, like you save when you sleep automatically, but your progress isn't like a day-to-day -day thing, like you don't have, to, you can save whenever, basically is what I'm trying to say. And it's not like a waste of a day if you just try to decide to go to sleep right away. You know what? No, let's not, yeah, we'll just use this one and we'll go put it down and then we'll go maybe gather some more materials or explore and try to meet some new NPCs, I think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's this down because I don't think we're gonna we have enough time to like get this all fixed up before next Sunday like it's only three days to get a lot of materials and I don't have that much energy like I'm a weak little man okay oh there's a grave oh can I fix that would he be happy if I fixed that grave it looks really sad oh that's sad Let's talk to this guy. No, oh! <laughs> I spent too much time looking at the grave and now he's gone to bed. Oh, okay, wait, you know what? Let's see what technologies we can get. Cause maybe we can gather some stuff at night if we do the right things here. Okay, we need five purple to get insects, but we can at least get beekeeping. Um. Oh, we need this. I think. Yeah, we need this in order to make flower beds. So let's try to get some more green points so that we can get the compost. Because we want Pete to make flower beds for a cemetery. Uh, green points. How do you get green points? Probably by like cooking, I think. Cooking and gathering from bees, maybe? I think there's a beehive over here. Yeah, this is the beekeeper guy. And then there's a wild beehive I can gather from. It'll cost me some health, though. Yeah. Ooh, look at all that honey. Let's look for some more beehives while we're out here. There's gotta be some more. Yeah, here's one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the chill music again. This game is trying to put me to sleep. Guys, help. Some cool cows. Wow, it just keeps changing the music. <laughs> oh, oh! Wait, 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 it's gonna change again. 
Yeah, there we go. We found the, the music border. Ooh, who's this? Oh. The woodcutter. He doesn't want me to chop trees here. Good, I've paid a lot to the village for the right to chop the trees around here. And I gotta tell you, it's hard work. If only I had a better axe. What if I brought you one? I haven't made much money yet. I don't even have a house. But I can teach you my old family recipe. It's a nice pasta. It'll help you keep up your stamina while you're working. Oh, that would be useful. What does he want? He wants an iron axe. Okay, I'm a little bit far off from being able to make that right now. I don't have that much iron, but you know, we can come back to that. Right now we're looking for bees. Ooh, smell something tasty. If you're looking for someone to read your palm, you should go to the town. Everybody there is scrambling to earn enough to buy a scrap of bread. Not what I'm looking for. That's a wonderful smell. What smells so good? It's great, isn't it? It's my kebab. It's an old family recipe. Bring me some good fish fillets and I'll teach you. Fillets? Fillets and I'll teach you. <laughs> fillets. I'll teach you. Okay. So he wants fish. Um, which, I mean, I still can't fish yet, so... He's gonna be waiting a while on that. Like I said in like my first video, I'm not a huge fan of fishing, and I have since learned that the fishing in Graveyard Keeper is similar to the Stardew Valley fishing, if not harder. So I'm kind of like, oh, I don't really want to do it, but um, I should probably, you know, I should try. Uh, anyways, we need, I think, one more, one more beehive to get enough honey to give Dig, because that's a, that's a quest that he gave us, right? Dig, 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 where is he? Yeah, he wants five honey pots. Okay. Now let's collect the apples while we're here, too. Apples are always useful. Is it this tree? No, it's the other tree. And then while we're over here, we can talk to the fisherman. Holy mackerel, boy. You look like someone who desires to be part of the magical world of fishing. That is the opposite of what I am. The absolute opposite. I do not, I don't want any part of this. Nope. Nope. I don't want it. I don't. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't want it. Do not want it. Okay. Like, I know I should probably try it and I will get around to it, but I just, maybe it's like this completely irrational block. I have that I just don't want to do fishing but I like I do not like it <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> and it's not that I'm like Stardew fishing it's not that I'm bad at it I'm good at it I've caught all the legendary fish I just don't like it I don't like it you guys and we need one more we just need one more honey should we buy it should we buy that one extra honey and then go see dig and turn in that quest to see what he gives us. Because I don't remember. I actually don't even know if I've ever done that quest before. Let's get one more honey. Let's check if I can harvest this again first. Can I? I can! Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Give me that honey. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I didn't steal your honey. It's fine. Um, lady, please. I'm trying to walk here. <laughs> What's my inventory like? It's got a few free spaces. I can do some more hunting and gathering. Not fishing, though. I don't want to fish. Fresh eggs. This counts as hunting and gathering, right? This counts. Buying. Let's get an egg. One egg. Just one. Off we go. Dig, where you at? Take your honey. Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig I am, am I? Here's some honey. Enjoy. Enjoy. Sweet dude, bra. What about the cake recipe? Just remember, a cake can never be too sweet, bro. Sweetness can help you see things from other points of view so you can learn more. 
trade. Uh, I think I'm... Like, okay, this is me knowing something from the previous playthrough. This is Donkey. The Donkey is gonna get mad at me for not paying him in carrots, and he's gonna demand that I pay him carrots and grease the wheels on the cart, so I bought some oil. I'm a cheater, guys. I used previous knowledge of the game to make it more convenient for myself. And it sounds like we have a body. That bell sure is loud, hey? Do you have anything I need? No, I've been here. I already know that he does not have anything I need. What am I doing? All right, we're gonna home, go home. We're gonna go home. I feel like we should buy some milk first, but after that, we're gonna go home. We're gonna get milk just for some cooking uh, to see what recipes we can make. This lady, I think she sells it. Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? Oh no, sir, the cows are our friends. We're not like those folks from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. Yeah, yeah, those folks in the town, they're the only ones who do that. <laughs> they think they're smarter than us, but I just think they're just barbarians. Barbarians. Yeah, let's not, I don't want these guys to find out about me. I mean, I'm just trying to get by, you know? I need some, I need something to eat. I need something to eat. I can't just walk around sleeping all the time because I don't have any energy. I need to eat. It's our donkey. Wow. Sorry you're so busy walking in a straight line that you can't say hi. Alright, here we go, guys. We are at our kitchen at last. I don't know if beeswax, yeah, that's not a food. But we can put in all of this other stuff and see what we can cook up with it. Uh, oh, we need water to make dough. Let's go get, grab some water quick. Wrong button. Wrong button. So how you get water is you pull it up from the well with F. Open it up and you use it. And then you get water droplets. And then you make a lot of dough. But first you also make pastry dough because pastry dough is for pastries. Let's make a lot of dough. Just a lot. Because we're going to have so many sandwiches. Because I like sandwiches. Sandwiches are beautiful and sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my breakfast and I eat them for my lunch. If I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Yeah, let's go to bed. Actually, yeah, we'll leave the cooking for tomorrow, guys. I gotta cut it short here. We've gone over a little bit. But yeah, it was so nice to play this again. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.